we have three alternative market structures that we're going to be examining uh, over the course of this lecture and the following few lectures. Um, the one that we're going to start off with is monopoly. Monopoly is by definition a market where we've only got a single seller but monopolies are, are not super common at least in the sense of there being absolutely no competitors for your product. Uh, so I've got a couple listed here. YKK is a, a Japanese company that makes zippers. They've got manufacturing plants all over the world to make these you know, tiny little products. Um, and they are, I say near monopoly, um, there's different reports on how much of a monopoly they have in this market. Um, depending on the source that you read, you'll see something between, you know, about 55% and 90% of the zipper market, which is a, a really big range there. What seems to be the case is that YKK makes most of the high-end zippers in the world, uh, and some lower-end zippers are manufactured by other firms, though um, they may well be firms that are related strongly to YKK. Um, a more sort of common textbook example of this is a really isolated gas station. Imagine there's a gas station with no competitors for like 50 miles around. Then that gas station is going to have very, very low levels of competition. Most people who live around there who are going to be needing gasoline will get it from that gas station. So we could say that that, that gas station has something like a local monopoly on gasoline.